Hey guys, it's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I mentioned in my last video that I had a massive sheen order coming in and it actually got delivered this morning. And I'm very eager to get done with my craft room, get everything organized, put together. So I figured I would film my haul because, um, as promised, it was a total of, I want to say 43 items. <laughs> but I only spent $95. Um, it's like a massive box. Um, uh, make sure you can't see any of my information. <laughs> But yeah, um, I already took the courtesy of unwrapping everything. Um, it was kind of all thrown in this box, which it's all silicone molds for whether it be like candle making, soap making, or resin. So this morning when I got the box, I took them all out and laid them flat. And then before filming this video, I took all of it besides one item out of the plastic. That way it wouldn't be as loud and rustly. So we're just going to hop right in because I have a lot of things to show you. And I'm going to try my best to be able to tell you the prices I paid for everything because everything was at least half off, if not more. Um, that's why I place such a large order. I do enjoy making resin things to sell, um, and if I can get supplies for a fraction of the cost, then of course I'm gonna 100% go for that. So, um, this one I didn't unwrap because I'm waiting on getting my table set up in my craft room. I already have these. I know I love them. They're great. They're pretty big. They're silicone mats to put down when you work with resin so that you don't ruin the surface you're working on. Um, so like a table or whatever. If you drop resin on it, you can't remove the resin. So you don't want to ruin your workspace. That's why you have these silicone mats. Um, it's a two-pack. Normally $8. I paid $3.15 for them. So that was really cool. A lot of stuff was half off. And then I also had like a coupon code. Um, next, I got this little... It's like a cat keychain mold. This I paid $0.50 cents for. Actually, I paid $0.40 cents for. I'm looking at the wrong column. It was $0.50. Cents, then I got an additional $0.10 cents off. So I paid $0.40 cents for that. Uh, let's see, this is like a hibiscus keychain mold. I paid 79 cents for that. And I've had sheen molds before. They're all like actually pretty good quality. I've had like a fail or two, but generally they work very well. And like, obviously it's something you can repeatedly use. So it's a decent investment and you're saving money versus getting them off like Amazon or anything like that. Um, this one's another keychain mold. It just says mom. This is something of course I think would be like a pretty decent seller. Bear with me as I'm trying to find the prices, because like I said, I ordered quite a bit of stuff, so it's a little bit of scrolling, but this was 40 cents. Another keychain, I got a little bumblebee keychain. This one was 40 cents as well. So originally a dollar, I got it half off and then an extra bonus. I got this little comb, just because I thought it was interesting. I've never made a comb out of resin before, and I thought it was just different. I don't even know if it would sell personally, but I know I got a good deal on it, so I didn't feel guilty purchasing it. Um, sorry guys, like I said, you're gonna have to bear with me. I bought a lot of stuff, so I'm scrolling through a decent size order to get the prices. I paid 40 cents for that. Um, I got this, I actually got two of these, two different sizes of these. So these are to make candles, and they're like little bubble candles, so this is like a smaller tea light version. Um... It's maybe an inch and a half tall. This was 40 cents. But then I also got the slightly bigger version. Well, it got a little mangled in shipping. So I'm hoping I could fix that. If anyone has tips on how to fix like misshapen molds, let me know. I'm hoping if I just like dip it in boiling water, it'll get its shape back. Because it's kind of, you can see it was kind of smushed. But this is like the slightly bigger version of that last one. And for it, I paid $1.18. $1.18. This I thought was going to be an ornament, <laughs> but it's massive. Um, it's a snowflake mold and it has like the little loop to be able to hook it. Um, I'm still going to make something like I'll still make decor and maybe hang it from like the ceiling. I think a nice blue shimmer reflective would look really, really cute. But yeah, I didn't expect it to be this large, but I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's better than receiving one that was like a lot smaller than I thought. And it was only $2.76. And like I said, it's massive. Like, it's a really, really good size for that. This was one of the disappointing ones. Um, but it's honestly on me. I just didn't read the reviews, didn't read the descriptions. I got in, like, this zone where I was like, everything's so cheap, so I'm just gonna add everything that I like to my cart without... Usually with Sheen, I, like, very carefully read all the reviews and make sure I know what I'm buying. But I still think it'll make some cute... It's a candle mold, and, like, you can't even really tell. But it's a little beehive with little bees, so it'll be about that big. And it'll just be a little 3D beehive honeycomb. Um, this was $1.97. This, I'm kind of mad. I wish I bought two. It's a little, you can't even really see. But it's like the sun and the moon in there sleeping. Um, and they intend it to be a candle mold. 
it was 236 and I kind of wish I got two just because I could see it being a cute little candle for like an altar but also a soap so I kind of wish I got two um if it's still in stock I only paid 236 for it maybe I'll see if it's still in stock even if it went up to the full price of five dollars I think that's a decent price it's a decent size so I think that will be cute soap and candle hopefully I can get another one okay let's go sorry guys I know these are two like massive hauls right in a row but like I said I really wanted to get it done for the simple fact of I want to be able to put the stuff away and like finally finish moving <laughs> because I hate moving it's stressful I can't wait till everything's where it's supposed to be and I don't have to be looking through boxes for random things we're getting there so this is a ghost little silicone candle mold so once it's a candle it's going to be a freestanding ghosty with his little arms up I know it's kind of hard to like get the vision there but this was $1.97 and I actually have over there it came with some wicks which I thought was like a cool little added bonus um it does seem a little flimsy not even flimsy just extremely stretchy which might come in handy because obviously once it hardens you're gonna have to pop it out so I'm very interested to see how that works the texture feels a lot different from everything else I purchased so I'm interested to see how that goes on to the next um I got this little soap mold I thought this would be way bigger okay I make soaps and this one looks really cool it's you know a soap that has little scrubbies um it's not very large <laughs> but I only paid 118 so I can't be too mad I just wish it was a little bigger I'm kind of happy though because originally I was going to order more than one so I could like make batches at a time um but I'm happy I didn't because I'm not really pleased with the size I mean it's a cool little like sample mini hand soap but I expected like a little bit bigger one um but again for a dollar 18 I can't really be upset about that I got this little heart mold um I don't know why I was so compelled to get it but I was <laughs> so it's just like a teeny tiny heart mold I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it maybe like drill keychain holders into them I paid 79 cents for this and I just thought it was really cute I have no other excuse I thought it was adorable um I got this double pack of ghosts this and there's another one I was actually eyeing up for the longest time and I didn't want to pull the trigger didn't want to order them so then when I saw everything was on sale for dirt cheap, I was like, oh, may as well treat myself. So it's two little ghosts. Um, they're for resin. They're two different. It's so hard to see. You could kind of see there. And then his little friend here. Um, I got the two pack for five twelve after all the sales. So that'll be really cute to make little Halloween decor for next year. Because, of course, I'm always going to be thinking of Halloween. This is the other... I'm gonna do them consecutively because this is the other thing I really wanted and I was gonna order ahead of time this right here is legitimately the reason I placed this entire order <laughs> like it was the first thing I had in my cart, and then I started adding things again and again and then suddenly a hundred dollars later um this was originally I want to say kind of up there if I could find it I will tell you so it's a six piece mushroom silicone mold set it was originally $15 it was on sale for $8.50 and then I paid $6.49 after coupon codes. So it's six parts and they're all different things. So that's like one mushroom size. I have a baby mushroom, a medium sized mushroom. And then let me put those down there. I have another baby mushroom. And then this is like a two-parter where like that's the bottom and then that's the top that sits on top of it. So all different size mushrooms and I actually have two other molds that are little mushroom containers that I've made some really cute stuff with that's just my aesthetic so literally the two little ghosty pack and then the six piece mushroom pack is the reason this entire haul happened and like as you can see I have no impulse control like there I can't wait till I get the craft room in order and do a little craft room tour because I just it's my happy place I adore it um moving on this is another kind of disappointment I'm not gonna lie <laughs> but again it was cheap so I paid 40 cents for this. I, it was originally a dollar and it's like faceted on the edges. I thought it was a coaster. <laughs> it's a little small to be a coaster. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Um, if anyone has any ideas, it's kind of a weird shape. It's a little too small to be a coaster. Um, I know a lot of people will do resin like wine glass bottom. So you put the bottom of the wine glass in a mold and then put resin in it and it makes a cool bottom. So that might be a good size for that. I'll have to try it. But yeah, comment down below any ideas you have for this tiny, tiny little circle because I'm not really sure what to do with it but we're gonna move on because like I have still probably 25 30 more items to show you um I got this little Christmas tree ornament mold I just thought it was really cute um it looks like they may have messed up the silicone a little bit 
so I'm hoping that won't affect the final product. This was $1.18 and I plan on making little ornaments whether or not I don't think I'm gonna put them on a tree I think I'm gonna make a garland out of them to like I caught it <laughs> I think I'm making a garland to kind of hang from my stairway or something um but yeah the silicone on this is a little messed up so I'm not too sure how it'll go but I mean even if I get one use out of it and then it's done for it was only a dollar 18 so I can't be too mad about that um I got these two to make Christmas gifts for my family so this first one was 197 and he's a little gingerbread man so I'm going to make little holiday soaps for my family and like wrap them up with little bows and stuff so he was a dollar 97 and then I also got this one which I'm like out of breath man I need to go to the gym Okay, so it's like a snowflake, a fancy snowflake star, and this was also what 97 I think I said that's what the other one was too. So I got these to make little holiday soaps for friends and family for Christmas because I'm broke this year, so everyone's getting some handmade gifts. This I think was really cool, and I didn't realize it says something. So it's like a big paddle to hold shot glasses. I have a circle, a square that I got on Amazon for sale, and then I found this one on Sheen, and I thought it was super, super cute. Which reminds me, there's another mold I want on Sheen that I'm hoping and praying it comes back into stock. It's like a Jenga game that you make out of resin, and it's like a drinking game. So I'm hoping that one comes back in stock. It unfortunately was out at the time that I was placing this order. So I'm going to try to keep my eye on that. But I thought this one was a pretty good steal. Um, it came to 236 after um all the sales and stuff. And like... You could kind of see in here like once you make it it says give it your best shot and i just thought it was really cool it's gonna have a little hole so you could like hang it on the wall and again for like how much did i say this was 236 like you can't beat it even if i sell this i'm gonna sell it for 10 15 dollars and you're already making profit even though the cost of resin is like a little insane but we don't have to talk about that <laughs> um this one i'm really excited about um so it's to make like a candlestick and just the design is really really cool this one was 315 and i haven't made a candle this tall before so i might have to order new wicks because i don't think the wick i have is quite tall enough but i will say i don't like it says classic scented candles in here in a way that like when you make it it's going to be imprinted on your candles which i mean is fine it'll be on the back but i just wasn't aware that that was something that was going to be on my candles Okay, we're powering through it, guys. I promise we're getting somewhere. This is another candle mold, if I could find it on here. I swear I just saw it. Um, if I was an organized, like, YouTuber, I probably would have made a list and, like, the order and, like, organized them, but I didn't. But this is another heart candle mold. Just a standing candle. I think it'll be really, really cute. It's a pretty cute size. Like, I like that it's not insanely tall. And this was 236 so I have this I'm obsessed with trinket trays like I have so many molds to make so many different trinket trays they're my favorite thing to make I don't know why it might be like the hoarder in me that's like oh if I make this little tray I could put stuff in it like crystals and coins and earrings and whatever I have so many of them but I got this okay it's a big feather it's a big feather trinket tray and I just saw it on here so after all the sales and all that fun stuff, this was only $3.54 for this mold, which, again, pretty big size, decent price. I got this. This one is a fail, but in, like, a good way. So it's a mandala coaster mold, and I thought it would be, like, a little coaster. It's a whole tray. Like, that's that's pretty big for a coaster. And, like, the detail, oh, I don't know if you could really see it. The detail is stunning. Like, I'm so excited to be able to make this. Again, to put stuff on, to put trinkets on, because I'm a psychopath who has fixation issues on trinket trays apparently moving on i got this um little gingerbread set i really need to learn how to be more organized when i do this it would help if i didn't buy so much like if i bought only a couple things i wouldn't have to scroll so much and it would just be easier to find things but i like to keep difficult i guess Okay, here we go. So this was $1.18. It's a little gingerbread boy and girl. And I'm going to use these with resin to make garland. I said, um, I decorated my my kitchen downstairs is all gingerbread themed. And I'm having a hard time finding decor. So if y'all have any suggestions for that, also comment it. But 
I figured if I can't find it, I'll make my own. So I already have some ideas with like the Cricut with certain things I'm going to do. And then I want to use these to either make like magnets for my fridge or like a garland or something. I just thought that was really cute, especially for a dollar eighteen cents. I got this big mold, which again, they dented in shipping and I'm really aggravated about it. So I'm hoping I can fix it. Um, I have a small moon trinket tray. So when I saw this, I didn't really think much of it until I decided for whatever reason to look at the review and I realized it's like pretty big. Um, so I ended up getting it last minute because why not? It's a trinket tray and it's a moon. So what's there to not like about it? I'd like it a little more if I could find it on this list of stuff I bought. Because I'm apparently having a hard time with it. Here we go. So I paid $2.36 for this. And it is massive. Like, it is so big. I have another one that's maybe that big. Like, it's tiny. This one's big, but you could kind of see they dented it in shipping. Like, they had it shoved in the bottom of the box. So I don't know how I'm going to fix it. I hope I can fix it. Otherwise, I'm going to be a little upset. Um... And I may have to reorder it. I've never returned anything to Sheen. So I don't know like how that process goes. But you can see like it's dented there. It's dented there. So I'm hoping there's a way for me to fix it. I'll have to do some research. Because I was really excited for that. Especially for the price. Um, here we'll do this one because I see it on there. This one's a little flower pot actually. So once you make it it'll have a drainage hole. It'll look like that. Not too big but cute enough for like some succulents or something. And I spent $1.97 on this. Um, oh, I just saw this. This is like a coaster set, which I'm, I expected a little more. So this is like the holder for your coasters. And I thought it came with four coaster molds instead of one. Because like, for any of you who ever worked with resin, it's hard to repeat a color. So like if I mix a color and it comes out gorgeous, I put the mold in here and here, I fill it up, I let it set, whatever. The odds of me being able to 100% replicate that color the second time are slim to none. So that's kind of annoying that it only came with one coaster mold, but I mean, I'll make it work. Um, and for this, I only spent $4.72. Um, let's see. This one I just saw in here. So this one, they kind of went viral. I don't have a TikTok, but I keep seeing TikToks when we post it on Instagram, which is where I saw it. And it's like a little honey jar. So that's the jar, and then this will be the lid. And it actually like does have like the indents to be able to screw it on. And it's super cute. So I got this for $3.54. Which I was actually going to order that exact same one on Wish. But I ended up not because the shipping was insane. Like that's how Wish gets you. Where it's like this stuff's all dirt cheap. But then it's all shipped separately. And like you're spending $8, 9 $10 on shipping. Whereas like Sheen will do like the free shipping. The shipped for free because I spent so much money. And even like Timu does like free shipping no matter what usually. Um... But yeah, I got this one to sell. I'm not a smoker, but I have an ashtray mold for $158. I figured this is something that would sell pretty decently. Like, it's really pretty. It's, like, faceted and, like, has a nice texture. Um, And I just thought it was something that would sell pretty decently. So, we'll see how that goes. It seems like there's a little rip in the silicone, but where it is, I don't think it'll affect the product, hopefully. But that's like the risk you take, I guess. Like I knew that they wouldn't take their time to wrap it all perfectly and ship it perfectly. Like they shoved it all, as I said, in this box. And there are some bigger items that were bound to get like bent, broken. And I can't expect more just because like I didn't spend a ton of money. Or if I bought this amount of stuff from Amazon, it would have been three, four hundred dollars. Like I can't really be mad. But it is like frustrating, I guess. Um and especially stuff on there like this type of stuff sells out so quickly and won't be restocked. So even if I want to repurchase the ashtray or the mold, like the moon mold, I, I'm not guaranteed that it's still in stock. Even if I send it back and get a refund, it's not guaranteed that it'll still be there for me to repurchase. Which is kind of frustrating and kind of, you know, the gamble you take with ordering from Sheen because it does come from overseas. So these big items are shoved in this box for a week and a half, two weeks, so... It's kind of like a, a risk I guess you have to be willing to take, which is fine. Like, I still think a majority of them are usable and I'm going to make some pretty cool things, pretty, like, different things to me, like, new things to me. Because previously candles I've only made in jars, so I'm very excited to make, like, the freestanding candles and stuff. It is just kind of annoying to have, like, certain things come not in the best quality. But again, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I did get a very good deal on all of it, so I can't be too upset about it. 
but I promise we're getting close to the end here. Um, this next one I'm having a hard time finding naturally, but it is just like a little ornament and it has a cute little snowflake in the middle. Um, ah, right, here we go. It was 79 cents for that. So again, I think that's a really good deal. This, I wasn't sure and I still don't know because I just moved all my molds from my previous house to here. I don't know if I have this. It's just like a big tray. <laughs> and what I'll do, they have wooden ones over there, like blank wooden ones. Um, I'll make them and then you cricket like stickers on them. Like a big thing right now is recipes. So you'll do a recipe and like you hang it up in your kitchen and it's like a nice piece of decor. So I thought that was like something really cool for especially Christmas time, like Christmas cookie recipes and stuff, which is like the first thing that came to my mind. And I went back and forth on if I was going to buy it or not, because like I said, I'm not sure if I already have one like this. But it came to $3.54, so that's why I felt comfortable buying it. So, I mean, even if I have two, I don't know, more the merrier, I guess. Um, this is another candle mold, which I'm really, really excited about. This came to $5.12, and it kind of looks like a rainbow. Um, another freestanding mold, so you'll have the wick come straight up, or like do two or three wicks, depending on how you want it to burn. And, like, I like this because there's a little rivet, so you're capable of doing, like, multiple colors and then layering it with, like, white to hold it all together, which I think would be really cool. I think I said the price, but it was $5.12. Um, we're getting down to the last couple items. This is the one I mentioned in the last video. I accidentally ordered the same thing from Timu. <laughs> so, now I have two, which is fine because they're adorable and they won't take a lot of wax to make. So, I'm totally okay with making just, like, a million of them because I love anything cute and tiny and little. This was 79 cents. So I think I actually paid less on Timu, but don't quote me on that. You'll have to check out my last video to compare and find out because I have no idea. All right, we're down to the last four items, I promise. This one I was really excited about because I always see people on YouTube using this one. And on Amazon, it is a pretty penny for this exact same mold because it's pretty large. So when I saw it on sale, I just knew I had to grab it. Um, And I paid... If I could find it, I'll tell you how much I paid. I paid $4.72 for this. And, like, it is big. Like, it's a massive mold. It's a very deep, poor mold. A lot of people will preserve flowers in these. And on Amazon, it's going to run you anywhere from, like, $20 to $50. It was originally $10 on Sheen. And then after, like, the sales, the promotions, my coupons, I paid $4.72 for this massive, massive mold. Which was just, like, awesome. All right, we're down to the last couple things. These two came in a pack together, actually. So I got these two pieces for five twelve, and it actually comes out to like six different molds, and they're little Christmas ornaments. So they say different things. Um, Tis the season to be jolly, home sweet home, Merry Christmas, y'all, joy to the world, merry and bright. And then there's like a blank one, and oh, there's I, I thought they were like the same replicated but they're not so then this one says believe in the magic of christmas deck the halls meet me under the mistletoe have yourself a merry little christmas and it's the most wonderful time of the year and then another blank one and then even in the so i shouldn't layer them like that you can't see in the middle there's like mini snowflakes so this was like a really good buy i got both of these for five dollars and twelve cents we've made it guys we are on to the last mold in this haul the box is now empty and can be thrown away so it's less clutter in this room because god knows there's enough going on in here but this one is um two dollars and 76 cents it's a coaster set like they go together though so like you could have them stacked as four different coasters or you could put them together like this and make a tray and they kind of look like geodes like they have like the rugged edge there and you could do different colors with them make them coasters make them a tray make them holiday like do whatever you want really i'm very excited to work with these um there are like more I have so many molds like this haul alone was 43 45 items something like that and I did get a couple like non-mold items um I got like a storage bin and some like wooden beads but other than that it was all molds and this is not the first time I've done like a massive resin mold haul on Sheen and it probably won't be the last time because they keep adding new ones all the time um but I like <laughs> I try to excuse it because I make stuff to give away and make stuff to sell where it's like it's going to good use but like if I didn't justify it like that I would just be a hoarder so yeah um but yeah I ordered let me see if it'll tell me 
My retail price was $220. My, subs my subtotal was $120.99. I had free shipping. And then I had a coupon code that took off $25 and some sheen points that took off a couple other dollars. So my total came to $95.25 for all of those. And like I said, two, three, four other items. Um, so I overall think it was a pretty good deal. I got free shipping. It came in like a decent amount of time. I want to see if I can find out exactly how many items it was. Because I know it was 40 something. 43 items, yeah. Um, and yeah, I think Shein's like slowly upping their craft game. Because when I first started shopping there, I don't remember seeing anything like this. Um, I don't even know what compelled me to look. Because I've been doing resin for a little bit now. Same with the candle making and soap making. Um, and I don't know what compelled me to finally look on Shein and see if they had some supplies. But they did. So it kind of works for me because as I said, they're way more inexpensive than if I was to order off like Amazon or even like eBay, Etsy, um, mold can get very, very, very expensive. So if I could save a couple dollars and still be able to craft and do the things I love, that's awesome. So that is it for this video. Thank you for bearing with me for another long, long, long haul. Um, I'm sure there'll be more coming in the future. So if that's something you're interested in, if you're interested in seeing a craft room tour once it's done, if you're interested in seeing more craft supplies hauls, DIY videos, um, I talked about other Timu hauls for like my car and my cat's Christmas presents, um, Christmas DIYs will be coming up. Please stay tuned. Let me know if you're interested in that. Subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!